play the Brentwood Club by Jives Nater. Um, so Jives has a history of producing very difficult courses with very silly greens and minimalist planting. So really interested to see what he brings to the contest table this time around. And he has filled out the form for us, so we've got some stuff to say. Um, what tees would you like to be judged from from the backs? No further conditions. Routing's a bit complex, but a certain style of parkland. Interesting. Based on Riviera, Cow Club, Pasatiempo, LA Country Club. Interesting. Um, all inspiration rather than taking any one, just like that sort of area and a bit of a melting pot from that, which is all good. So we will go from the tips. 7 6 and par 70. Jeez. Okay. This is going to be entertaining. Um, go pin two and we'll get into this. So Jives has had a number of courses. He's been around for ages, like longer than I have, certainly. Um, so most recent ones were Oren Moore. Uh, he did pretty well in World Cup last year with Kuz Hannes. Um, okay. And so we are, let's have a little look at this one. So Parkland style course, he says, and he's not lying. Um, so we've got, you had your notepad ready. You'll be up after this. I, I mean, you get to go last, which is, there's a certain sort of joy in that. All right. So we've got a very long course, Parklandy, for sure. Let's zoom up. I mean, you've said compact routing. I think it is in spots. It is in spots and it isn't in spots. Um, we got some houses around and tree lines and things. Yeah, Jives is known for evil greens and things. And we and he's done a cart path. Cool. All right, we'll leap into this. I will get the major critique out of the way first, which is that the planting is not doing much for me. Um, just the single trees dotted around. Yeah, they're there. Now with that out of the way, let's get on with the goal. Um, okay, we've got big camber, opening par five that is not too long. Could hit three wood and probably fine. Might get there in two. Wild kicker slope at the front. Or we're kind of dealing with that big slope. So there's, there's enough to think about. Let's, See how this goes. He hits a red fast. Excellent. Down the fairway, please. Huh, somehow did. Lush grass for miles. Yeah, I mean, when we're saying Cow Club, Riviera, Pasatiempo, like in my mind, those are all really stunning, beautiful courses. I don't think the trees are quite doing it for me. Hey, Lisi. The bunkers are cool, though. I think we're we're definitely hitting a sim similar vein with some of the bunkers. And we've got an interesting green where I didn't really mind being right for this one. We've got a bit of a backstop. Doesn't mean we'll manage to hit it, but one of those we tempted to let's try this. And it doesn't even come back down. Jives, damn it. That's disappointing. No, I I agree with the textures being an odd combo. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, but I don't think it was necessarily running out of time. But I haven't read the thread. Um, I think the textures are fine. It's just the greens that seem uh, the textures until the greens. I think seem fine. There's some squiggly bunkers. Gulp things okay. They're quite awkward to sculpt. But like, we've got bits that are going a bit high, a bit low, just, just a bit mixed. Um, and if we, but I love the green side benched in here. Big runoff. Yeah, I mean, and. Copy paste grass like McTrees showed that you can do quite a lot with that. Uh, let's go find that bunker. Nope, let's not go find the bunker. Even worse. 
I mean, this pin is as inaccessible as they come, but that's that's fine. We've hit a really bad drive, and goodness knows where this will go. That's not too bad. Yeah, like even some more. Ah, yeah, I say even some more sunken trees and grasses and. I think if we're going for this sort of course, bring the tree lines in super tight, just like let's bury the empty space out there. Just feels lazy, yeah. I mean, but he has got multiple types of trees, so could could be doing well. Yeah, and then when when the trees get really tight, it feels quite awkward because we've just had them so far apart. Well, yeah, no one's to, no one is disputing this, Massey. Okay, I like this as a long par four green. It's definitely interesting. And I like the deceptive bunker in front of the green. That's cool and nicely done. Interesting choice to go with no bunkers on the tee shot, but. I mean, I, I'm all for it in terms of variety. Just think maybe that hole could have used it. And the shadows on the green is an interesting decision, which I don't really care about. But given that you planted those two trees right next to it. Okay, long path three. We've got a couple of ways we can get it close. Yeah, I think visually you need one, you need something to lift the course a bit. It might be or it might not. I don't know. Who's to say? Come on, kick off. You need something to lift the course. If it's not going to be the plant thing, it's got to be the bunker, bunker shaping or something. Or, yeah, I think we're just, we're just lacking a key visual element here. And no matter how good the golf is, it's going to struggle to overcome that. A lot of people. Yeah, I mean, I think the rolling fairways work. The big cambers, the bunkering definitely fits that sort of style. Yeah, this this bunker's not great, sculpting wise. The other two are fine. And these two are very far away from playable surfaces, which make me wonder if I missed something. Anyway, I did not look at my yardage at all, or elevation there at all, did I? I don't really get what these two bunkers are doing. They are miles away from being in play. Hey, Daniel. I mean, some of, some of them do. Pass Tiempo definitely does. Hi, Ecolic. Sorry, buddy. I meant to say I saw your message earlier. I just haven't gotten around to replying or to the previous one. Just swamped with stuff at the moment. But thank you. And I will reply to the other one in a bit. Um, okay. A bit more enclosed by the trees. I don't mind. The bunkers being... I think one of my issues I'm finding is the bunkers are just so thin and narrow. They uh, partly they're rendering weirdly because they're so thin and narrow, but also they're so out, they're very out of kilter with the fairway sizes and the green sizes. And I think that can be a thing on Mackenzie-ish style courses, but if so, he tends to do a lot of them. Huh? One of those t-shirts, huh? 
Hey, Matt. That's a shame. I'd have liked to have hit a shot into that green. Oh, and we've got a tree to contend with. We've done this all sorts of wrong. Well, Matt, we just played Krizzies, and I've got to say, I think you got your call on using the front nine for that spot on. There's a shot. And then we're going to play Qs in a minute, and then we're done. We've cleared them all, and I can design again, or do other stuff, whatever I do. Like this bunker. Good sightline. Just wish there was a bit more anything over here. I think the part of the hole that starts at like my golfer's head and goes right looks great on the left, let's say. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, there's a this is a tricky green, it was something that way. Playthroughs of every single rookie course. Nah, not happening. I did I did the betas a couple of years ago and I, I'm I'm all for helping with some of those. Yeah, I'm I know Patrick's looking for judges for rookie. You know, like this looks better where we've got the the denser tree line. We might like to see it a little bit closer into play, but that does definitely help. Bunkering here has gone a little funky. No, I just don't think these bunker shapes are really working for me. They're just very dotted around and like they're kind of Mackenzie shapes, but they're just in odd places. I like the small tiny green that is not that slope, but is slightly front to back. I'm here for this. So basically trying to bait people into hitting a pitch shot into it, I guess. I think if we go down here, we're hitting across it just a little. You deliberately put that tree in, yeah, maybe. And there's our very slow, thank you game. <laughs> that works as intended. Yeah, I like this one. It's a simple whole idea. I think it's done well. And it's got character to it. Oh, we're racing through. Eight holes in already. And I guess it helps when there's limited planting to critique. Were we meant to have a bunker here at some point and then we... Didn't? Oh, there's a little mound. This little fairway notch looks a bit weird. See, this bunkering by the green is much better. I think this is the style you were going for, and the backdrop and like there, look, that little look there is the essence of what I think you wanted your course to be. Oh, and another one. That's a bunkers. Might need to raise the. Raise the controller up a little bit so maybe it's registering a touch better. Nope. We're just gonna we're just gonna hit red slows all the way up this hole. It'll be fine. Easy par. Red slows on a drive course. I know, brave, huh? We're still under par. Won't last, but we're still under par. Nearly managed it. Yeah, that's about as badly as I could have played that course. Oh. That's a shame. That's the best green site on the course, and I didn't get a play a decent shot into it at all. Um Yeah, you will get some complaints on this one. This is a I would say this one's a touch silly. The previous one I understood. I don't think it worked. This one I don't think works as well. Uh, 
And I know we wanted to play, like the the aim was to play close to the bunkers, but I'm not clearing them, so I might as well go right. Ang was much of a muchness into this shallower green. Especially when you're doing that, doesn't really matter where you go. Huh, and we found it on. No, if this was CGGC, it would be like 10 times as big with 10 times more red slopes on it. But yeah, about the, about the right shape. Yeah. I mean, that's a complete steal of a birdie, but we'll, we'll take it. Yeah, bunkers here much, much better. I think we're getting a picture of what this course has been. Like, this is this looks good. Now, some denser planting around here and, like, some stuff here as well. I think you've got a really good golf hole, like, a really good-looking golf hole. Just needs a bit more. Yeah. It is. Is trees the new drives? I mean, yeah. I don't think so. I think jives is still the... Jives is still jives. Not a good shot. Tempo has gone to shit. Later, Charlie. We are on 12 already. We're racing through. Uh, I don't love how close this green is to this being in play on this hole. Like, that's a real routing issue. Or a hole design issue. Like, you've got this space. You would build the hole out this way. There's no reason for the fairway to be coming clo this close to this green. I imagine flat players downwind can probably bounce it over there. Yeah. I like the bunker layering. The bunker layering's cool for... Like, visually making it seem like there's nothing. There's no way of getting there. That is, yeah, pretty teeny. I mean, you can, you, you could get over there. We're just obviously not going to. This is the dream team. We've got two more. Uh, and this one seems to be going very quickly. Almost, Trace, almost. Oh, I forgot to do the matchups. While, while we can just, we'll just sit and admire that shot while... This one is not up on day... Oh, this is in all three days. This is going up with Victoria Gardens on the first day against Saranac Post. So that's with Lisey's against Dylan and Baby Bulls Crepe Myrtle. Then on day two with Kissa Steiner. Uh, so the Seb K Lofoten one against Cherotori and Saranac. And then one-on-one -on -one it's up against Sorrowless Field. It's an in interesting matchup as well. Hey, Petro. The house behind is really cool. I did not even see it because I was too busy. Oh, that is quite cool. He, he really will do anything to avoid planting. Jive's only got interesting matchups. This is a three-dayer. Yeah. Again, cool green site. Like this, that green site, very, very cow club sort of feel. I think you're a three-dayer as well, Trace, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, I heard you. I wanted to see how much you meant it. Still got mo lines on the greens. Little runoff past the pin is cruel. Uh, probably not. No, I've dream team adjacent course. I will play your Groves course at some point in a couple of months. I promise. Um, anyone watching this on YouTube, Petro's published the other version of his stream song inspired course. Go play it. 
try I don't really love that I can't see the base of the flag. This mound is bothering me. It's two feet above the pin. Don't know if we needed it. Yeah, I've got to finish my own World Cup court. I actually get to design again soon. Well, there's, there's a decent shot. There's a couple of ways to get to that pin. Hey, Alan. Oh, and then this one gained all the bunkers, and we're back to that green site. Yeah, just the the bunkering and placement and stuff on this course is kind of all over. There are time, and I can see what you mean when you said there's a lot of influences from similar types of courses because there are some which are sparsely bunkered, some that are really heavily bunkered. Again, like that par three that we really liked, I think this is your, if we'd done this consistently across the course, it'd look great. Just the sparse, because I think those bunkers really fill the space and replace your need for planting, whereas the other ones that are more sparse don't. And that's a really cool green site. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll come to the come to that in a second. I like the blind drive. That's very Mackenzie-ish sort of drive. Blind drive. I say we'll come to it in a minute. We'll we'll just hack out first. There's a real visual oddity between the fairway being this wide and the bunkers being this wide. Just slight scaling is a little off for me. Let's just keep going. We'll, we'll hack. We'll hack it up. We'll, we'll make the green one day soon. Hmm. About the shape of it, JC. You keep good company. Don't love the pin randomly breaking away this way, but what can we do? Yeah, and then it just went massively from the first one. That's annoying. Yeah, that's par four. Right. Again, scaling, I think, is off with the green. It's really big. And we've missed the fairway again. I'm not playing well. Of course it's not that difficult. Cool. Somewhere up here, I think. Uh, might need to slow down. Did need to slow down. It's not a good shot. Yeah, bogey was deserved. Well, bleeding. We're, we're very much leaking oil on the way back in, and we get a really cool clubhouse at the end, which does look awesome. Like. Really cool. And bunkerless hole with crazy amount of camber. Sure. Ah, well, this is characterized this round. Eh, I'm can't say I'm loving the weird boomerang green. And then just Let's just bounce something down here. Hopefully that grabs and pulls back and 
Lay up for the angel, exactly. Maddie knows. <laughs> Sick. Well, that's going to be probably the quickest playthrough I've done all, all contest. Um, I mean, it, it kind of speaks for itself. The golf is fun, but the planting is unfinished. Uh, or the vision was different to what I think it should have been. Um, just it needs more an environment to really feel complete and cohesive. I also think it, the cohesion is hurt by the varying bunker styles or amount of bunkers on there. There are some really fun shots on there, um, particularly the long shots where you've got um, the ground working the ball in different directions. I um, think about that long par four early on, which had the little funnel into the front section. There's a lot of long fours on there to allow you to facilitate that. I'd be interested to see how judges view that from a routing point of view. Um, but also some of the pitch shot par fours were quite cool. So um, I'm going to say 12 was one I liked, I think. Um, I like, would have would have quite liked a bit more of that. Same with 15, I thought it was a good hole. Um, 11 is your favourite of the par 3. Yeah, that was really nice. I like that sort of bunker star that we had on 11 was exactly what we wanted to bottle and just do again and again and again. Um, so yeah, that, that's Brentwood Club. So um, we're going to cut the stream again and we'll be back in just one minute with Q's course, which is going to be our final playthrough of the year. So see you again soon.